doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. 
Clementine must have surprised him. If she hadn't been there... Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. I'll try to cut you some slack. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Pete! 